Hi guys, this is Pastor Sean again with your God is Awesome and the Bible is Cool vlog. Today's uh, focal passage is Luke chapter 8, verse 49 through 56. It's the story of Jairus' daughter. You might be familiar with this, but let's go ahead and read it anyway. While Jesus was still speaking, someone came from the house of Jairus, the synagogue leader. Your daughter is dead, he said. Don't bother to teach her anymore. Hearing this, Jesus said to Jairus, don't be afraid, just believe and she will be healed. When he arrived at the house of Jairus, he did not let anyone go in with him except Peter, John, and James, and the children, child's father and mother. Meanwhile, all the people were wailing and mourning for her. Stop wailing, Jesus said. She is not dead, but asleep. They laughed at him, knowing that she was dead. But he took her by the hand and said, My child, get up. Her spirit returned it, and at once she stood up. Then Jesus told them to give her something to eat. Her parents were astonished, but he ordered them not to tell anyone what had happened. Luke 8, verse 49 through 56 is the account of Jesus healing this young lady. And in fact, he raised her from the dead. But before Christ performed this miracle, the people there did not believe that it could be done. They knew the young lass was dead. They knew that. And even when he told them not to fear, but just have faith, they still scoffed at his words. They didn't believe that anything else could be done. It was a clear-cut situation, and that was all, and all that was left was just to mourn the loss. The problem for the people in this account is that they didn't believe that there was anything that could be done to fix the situation. They were stricken with grief, and, 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 and they were stricken with despair at the loss of this, this young one. And they couldn't see anything but the bleakness and the darkness that was surrounding them. They were overcome by the emotion of the situation, and they saw no way out. You know, many times we get in situations where we can't see the light at the end of the tunnel. All we experience is pain, uh, the blackness of depression, we, the, a doubt and fear. It envelops, envelops us like a blanket, and it shuts out hope. And what we fail to see is that there's something else that we can cling to. And we don't believe in the miracle that can pull us out of the mire because we feel like we're too far gone. And here's the thing, though. We have a saving grace. We have a God who loves us unconditionally and is willing to come to our rescue when we call. But we have to call. We have to put our faith in a Savior that can help us through the situation. We have to put our faith knowing that Jesus can do this. If we think we are too far gone to even cry out for help, then we become like the people in this story. They thought all was lost, but Jesus was there to help them and to restore their joy. And here's the thing. He's waiting to do the same thing for you. You just need to believe. You need to have faith that Christ is who he says he is and that he does have the power to bring you out of the darkness and into the light. But you got to call. You have to call on his name. So I'm encouraging you, no matter where you're at and what your circumstances are, call on the name of Jesus. Things might not happen right away like you think they should or, or, or like you want them to, but Jesus is still faithful and God is still sovereign over everything. Many times in the Bible, uh, uh, God responds when his people call and not until then. You see it in the book of Judges all the time. So call on him. Call on the Savior. He loves you. He died for you. And he's there for you in everything. Hopefully these are encouraging words to you this morning. Um, we love you guys. We, we, we look forward to seeing you all on Sunday, hopefully 11 o'clock here at Cross Point Church. Um, so uh, just remember, God is awesome and the Bible is cool. And our Savior Jesus is great. So let's uh, go forth in his name. Amen.